looking pockable, I might be coming immune to booby. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. Another job I want your help with. Your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No! Seriously. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah! I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was. Now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was. He is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid. 
with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now. Emails. All right, we're here. Only one security guard. Looks like a normal consumer bank up here. We're going down to the back entrance, see where the gold comes out. Why do you talk to Mike about it? I will. But I gotta talk to you, too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man, when there ain't an obvious profit in something. You're a hard guy to motivate. 13.30. We're an hour down, two to go. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Les. Come on! Mike's observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quite... Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Pepper, how you doing? Well, uh, uh, I clockwork, Mikey. I clockwork. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. No! 
I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. Okay, they'll be back out in the open now. It'll have to be a quick turnaround, but you can hijack the trucks in there. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the jewel store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! Bring out the 
got two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. <laughs>